Yo, what is up everybody? It is your boy Tatch, and today, I should have done this video a while ago, I should have done this video right when I got back from Columbus, Ohio, but today I'm just going to be talking about this past weekend at Columbus, Ohio, when we ended up winning the tournament, uh, Season 3 Playoffs. It was a really crazy ride, it was really crazy, like, uh, it was so many things to talk about with it, so, let's get right into it. Starting off on Friday, when we had our first match, we didn't play until the last match of the night, we ended up playing Envious, uh, we play them pretty much at every tournament. We have not lost to them, but very uh, multiple times we've played them and went down by like 100 points in hardpoint. And uh, we did that again today, or that weekend on Compound, on that Friday. We ended up coming back and winning that. We won the series like 3-1. I mean, we struggled a little bit, but we, we definitely picked it up. Tommy had a nice 1v3 clutch on Riot. That, that also kept us in the game. So that was the Friday. Oh, one match, so I can think we were guaranteed top 6 now. And um, Epsilon, because our, our side of the bracket was Epsilon, Envious... Denial, Elevate, Us, and so there's a bunch of really good teams on the side of the bracket. And Epsilon surprised everyone in this event. They played fantastic. They played out of their minds. Uh, they destroyed Us. They destroyed Denial. They destroyed... I don't know if they played Envy. But they destroyed Us in Denial. And they were just on fire this weekend. Uh, they almost knocked us out of the tournament. They were one run away in SD. and and we'll, But that's for later in the video. But congrats to them because they just played amazing. And um, yeah, so on the Saturday, we... It was us versus Epsilon to go to top three to the winner's finals. This is winner semis. And um, we're like, okay, we played Epsilon at Dal or yeah, Dallas. We, you know, Dallas, the UMD Dallas, we had a really bad event there too. But we ended up beating Epsilon there. So we're like, all right, we know they play. We can beat them. And um, we play them. And then we just got pooped on. Like, things just weren't going our way. They were just out playing us in every which way, out gunning us, out smarting us, everything. So... We were, we were kind of caught off guard because we kind of expected to be like, all right, let's go. We can do this. Like, we know how they like we know how they play. Like, we got this, guys. And we just got, our whole all our plan just got shit on. Like, we got destroyed. Like, it wasn't even a close game, really. Like, we actually got, like, destroyed. So, we lost to Epsilon on the Saturday, went to loser's bracket, and then I think we had to play one more match. It was at the end of the night again. We played Denial. And um, I'm pretty sure we won the series 4-2 versus Denial. We clutched up on one of the uplinks, I remember. I don't really remember this series. It's kind of tough to remember, but... And then we clutched up one that series versus Denial. And after like after today, we're like, guys, we got to really step our game up because we could have potentially lost to Envy. We did lose to Epsilon, and we also could have potentially lost to Denial. Like, uh, things just weren't going our way. We weren't playing smart. I hear Molly running up the series right now. But we just weren't playing smart at all. And, um, yeah, things like they just weren't going our way. So going to the sun, they were like, all right, guys, we got to focus up. Everyone get some good sleep. Wake up. Eat some food. Just focus up because we got to clutch up tomorrow if we want to have a chance to win this because we play Epsilon or... Wait, who do we play? Oh, no, we played Elevate to start the day on Sunday. So, we played Elevate. It's I think it was went four, we won 4-2 as well. And in the SND, it was Skyrise, SND. 5-5, we ended up clutching up that round. Like, if we lose that 5-5 SND Skyrise, that whole, whole series changes because it, I think it's tied 1-1 now if we lose that. I, actually, I think they won first map. Did, did they win first map? I don't know. It's kind of hard to remember. But if we lose that SND 5-5 Skyrise, our, we potentially lose the series because that's a huge map for us that's the second map and uh, if we would have lost that everything could have been changed so i'm glad we clutch up against elevate but then this is where the story gets good this is when it gets real good we were playing epsilon you guys already know what happened if you watch but if you did not if you don't really follow competitive call of duty anymore this is what happened so we're playing epsilon i'm like all right we know what they do we know what they do we are going to destroy them this time and first map um I did really bad. I went like double neg something. And I was playing on this monitor setting that I didn't really like. Like I would go in the garage show. And if you guys ever played a Call of Duty Advanced Warfare before, you know that going in garage show, literally, there's so many dark corners and so many dark corners on just every map. So I was playing on this setting I didn't really like. And I really couldn't, I had trouble seeing people in the hill when they were like jumping around and stuff in the corner. So that's definitely, that's like my little bit of excuse. But other than that, I got shit on that map. I'll take that. I did really bad. And the second and third map, um, no one really did. No one really did really bad versus Epsilon, but we just weren't clicking. Like, everything was not going our way, and we were down 0-3. Then we had BioLab SND, and if you guys know BioLab SND, we play I think Optic. The, playing against Optic at Gfinity on BioLab SND got 6-0'd. Early in the tournament, we played someone on BioLab SND got destroyed again. Like that's probably that's easily our worst search and destroy map. So we're like, okay guys, BioLab, we can do this. Uh, I think we won it earlier in the tournament once but we also lost it so we're like all right bio lab let's get it we got this guys come on just focus up kind of like delusionally after we're down 0-3 because no one has did an 0-3 comeback in one four map straight like that this is the first time it's ever happened we somehow did it but it's bio lab we go down five to two we are one round away from elimination if we lose one snd round we're out of the tournament and 
Tazuma got a really big 1v2 clutch to keep us in the game. Then we won two tournaments, and then, or two tournaments, two rounds, and then uh, it's 5-5. Five, five. And throughout the Battle Lab SD, they never really hit ice or purple. And I was playing in Battle Lab the whole time. I didn't see that throughout the whole game. So I'm like, alright, guys, they're probably gonna hit Battle Lab this time. Watch out, be ready for it. So, oh, dude, this is one of the craziest things ever. And we're in Bio Lab. Tommy and I are in Bio Lab. One guy stuns through purple, stuns us. Another guy runs through ice, he jumps over me as I'm trying to like look over slowly. Shoots Tommy in the back. I kill him, I run towards Orange Tunnel, Remy starts shooting me, I dump, I dump, dash back, kill him, and I got a huge two-piece in bio, so it's a 2v3, and um, so we start working our way towards purple, My, it's myself, Clay, and Enable, and we know one guy's like back long by the pit, and one guy was by the uplink box, and he, a guy uplink box jumps and runs into front purple, I kill him, so I already have three kills this round so far, I'm like, alright, let's go, I'm feeling myself, I'm about to get this ace eventually, I have three kills this round, and then next thing I know, I just see this redhead dude come down, gah, stomps on my head. Ian stomped me in the head, headshotted me with his boot. If we would have lost this round, it would have been his fault because he stomped me. He literally stomped me on my head. Like, I was like, dude, are you fucking serious? But they're like, all right, no, 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 you got this, you got this, don't worry. But Clay and Enable had the guy trapped. They got the bomb down, then they just killed Nogafin, and we won that map. And after we won that map, I don't know, like, we just all kind of started, like, playing a lot better, communicating better. We just saw that we can actually do this because we just came back from 5-2 to two on our worst SD map in the game for sure. But yeah, we just came back and we're like, alright, we can definitely win this series now. I think, I forgot, I think it was a hard point and then a parliament uplink and then an SD riot. I forgot what the uplink was, um, but we won that. Parliament uplink, we actually were really good at that map. We all really liked that map. So we're like pretty confident. We're like, alright, we, we're going to get this map. We're just going to have focus on the last map SD. And last map SD, I think it was like uh, 4 or... 3, 2, or something like that, and I was in a 1v2 scenario, they had the bomb at A bomb on Riot, and one was t like below pillars looking on bottom A, and one guy was actually planting the bomb uh, on A, and this was a huge round for us, I start putting shots into the guy on A bomb, so he was really weak, the guy at pillar starts shooting at me, and I'm pretty weak as well, and then the guy on A bomb, for some reason, pushes me, I kill him, but I know bomb's down, and then Nagafin is the last guy alive, he just tries chasing me, I just run around, I juke him out the whole time, and we ended up winning that round. That was a really huge round to go up like 4-2. We gained so much momentum throughout that round. Ended up clutching that SD and then going on to the grand finals versus Optic Gaming. And as you guys know, Optic Gaming, the best team in the game so far throughout the whole course of this game. We had to win two best of sevens again. Not just one, two best of sevens. At the first MLG Columbus, FaZe actually beat Optic Gaming in two best of fives. It came from losers bracket. Two best of fives. So we're like, alright dude, two best of sevens. We've been playing COD a lot today. I mean, let's just go hard. Let's see what we can do and uh, hopefully we can win it. So we start on compound hardpoint, and we are just going off. Uh, I played really well. I think Enable did, did really well on that map too with me. And we just start going off. We destroy them that first map. We're like, alright guys. So we got on that first map, but they're probably like just getting warmed up. Because Optic Gaming was sitting around like and just shooting bots all day. If you shoot bots, it's so much different from actually playing a match. Because when you're playing a match, you're going full intensity, everything. Your shot has to be on point, your callouts, everything, your communication. But when you're shooting bots, you're kind of just sitting there and just like shooting bots, warming up your shot. So it's completely different. So we're like, alright guys, let's see if we can sneak the second map SND off of them. We got one that, and then I think we, did we lose third map? Because I know we won the first series 4-1. We won the first series 4-1, and then we're like, okay guys. Good stuff. Still gotta win another four maps. So it comes down to one more best of seven. And by this time, we're like, alright, they're definitely warmed up now because we've played about five maps Call of Duty. And after that, you're like, definitely warmed up. They're, they're, they should be like gunning us. We should be gunning them. It was going back and forth. And um, we started out on Biolab. We had the bad spawn. I actually went, I got like, I started off six and zero on the Biolab. We had bad time. We broke into the pit hill. We started off six to no. It was like 32 to zero off the start. So we had a really good break off. And then, um, we're not very good at Battle Lab Hardpoint either, like we're, we're good at it, but it's just one of our weaker maps, I would say. And we just lost the map by like, um, we were winning on the blue hill, we were like winning by like 10 points, and the, it moved to the green plat hill, and they held that for like the whole time. So we were down by like 20 or 30 points going into the last Battle Lab hill, and um, when we were in the Battle Lab hill, we all kept running in there, we'd get like 2 or 3 kills, and then one guy would just be jumping around, jumping around, then the rest of his teammates would come and swarm, and it was just trading, 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 back and forth, back and forth. It was really crazy, and we ended up losing that map by like 10 points, I believe. It was it was a pretty close map. If we could have got them out, we potentially could have won that map and started the series up 1-0. So we're like, alright, yeah, they're hot right now. They're up 1-0. We got to clutch up this SND. This is really serious. Like, we have to go hard in this SND. We ended up winning that SND, and then um, I think it was comeback uplink. Uh, we played that. I did really well. I went like 35 and 25. I had a really good game on that. Ended up winning that, and then it was comeback uplink. 
I think there was one more hard point. Mm, I oh, it was solar. Uh, wait, was it solar? Uh, I think that might have been the first series, but yeah. When we were playing that solar hard point, I thought the game was mathematically over for like 20 seconds, and then I look at it with the 10 seconds left, and they can still win by like a second. So Zuma does some crazy stuff, gets in the hill, contests it, we win that. So we're like, oh my god, like we won literally by one point. If they tie it, we have to replay, who knows what happens, it changes the whole series around. But I don't know the hard point in the second best of... I don't know, but I know we went up 3-1, and then we played Skyrise SND. We're really good at this map. Even though we lost, we beat Elevate 5-5 on the map, we lost to Epsilon 5-5 on that map. But throughout the tournament, like, we were just playing that map very well. And uh, we put off the gaming on it. We, Clay, Clay and Zuma were sniping, and they were just going off. They were sniping everything. Like, every round, there would be first blood, and another one would get a kill. And then me and Ian would, like, trade the rest of them. So we were just working really well and really good as a team that day. And it was such a tiring day. Like, I don't know if you guys ever played COD. Like, if you guys have never played it at an event, like, it's actually really tiring. Like, people wouldn't expect sitting down and playing a video game to be tiring. But when you have to play, we played four series. How many maps? So we went four, so that's six maps in our first series. Seven maps, in our, that's 13 series already. Five maps, that's 18. And then another five maps, that's, that's 23 maps and with straight. Like, we literally played one our first series, 10 minute break. One our second series, 10 minute break. Beat off again first series, 10 minute break, and then won the th won the last series, won the tournament, and it was a really crazy day. Don't know how we did it, but I'm really proud of the team. I'm really proud of how we played. Uh, we just stayed composed because we definitely could have lost full composure on the bio lab and given up, and we probably we would have placed third at the event. But we ended up clutching up, winning that, playing Optic, and beating them. So it was really good games. We had a really fun time playing that. But I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. This is what happened in Columbus, Ohio, and then after we went to either the Cheesecake Factory, and that's pretty much it. No crazy things really happened after that. It was a fun weekend, so thank you to MLG. Thank you for everyone that hosted that. I had a really fun time. I always love going out to those events. Uh, the Pro Player Lounge is always fun, too. And the hotel we stayed in was very, very nice. I love staying at that hotel. But thank you guys all for watching this video. My name's Attach, and I'm out. Peace.